Hello, Dumpsterinos and Frugalistas, and welcome to the video. What I have for you today is a little bit, I was going to say, it's a bit of a mess. But that sounds negative, doesn't it? Because a lot of people think messes aren't good. I don't know why. What we have for you today, Dumpsterinos and Frugalistas, is a little bit of a Dollar Tree dumpster diving mashup. Sneaky poo. All right, so here's the scoop. I have a bunch of snippets of different Dollar Tree dumpster dives that Frugal Daddy did that we've never shown you. Pretty much, I just had all these snippets on my computer and I just wanna show them to you so I can erase them and move on. Some of these go all the way back to April. It's just, it's just stuff you haven't seen yet. Use your imagination to fill in the blanks. Let's just dive right in, dive, and um, you know, you get what you get, and don't get upset. Don't come for me, dumpsterinos. Just bear with me. I'm at Dollar Tree. I am at Dollar Tree. I'm at Dollar Tree. I am at a Dollar Tree. Here we are. Hey. Looks like someone in ordered way too many Mother's Day cards. Okay, I don't know if these boxes are full, but let's take a look. Buried under that up. Okay. 275 glasses. Might even be my script. Oh man, there's this is a whole bag of stuff. Good stuff.
Here I go. You say, I'd like to watch to make sure I can do it. Okay, as good as it's going to get, I guess. of carpet cleaner could that be a whole case sometimes if one leaks they just throw the whole case away I don't want to step on any nails are these full yes they are That might be all it is. I've seen them throw away a whole case because the caps are loose. All these chemicals are going right into the landfill. I can't, I can't find a better way to dispose of this stuff. This is a really nice fall. See you at home. See you at home. All right, kittens. So that was the diving, and now I'll show you some of the haul. Some of the haul stuff I have to show you isn't even related to any of those dives because he didn't even film the dive because he would just go to the dumpster and be like, oh, there's just one thing. I'll just grab it. I didn't even film it. And some of the the merchandise from the dives, like I've already kind of it, it gotten rid of it. So I, I don't even have it to show you. Like the carpet shampoo. He got that whole case of carpet shampoo. We gave some away. I used a bunch of it. Do you remember the video where we got that blue and white rug from Aldi and I was crawling around on it, scrubbing it and hosing it off and all that? Remember that? Remember that? I used about three bottles of that carpet shampoo on that. He used some of that the other day on another rug he found curbside shopping. I think we still have some of it just shoved away somewhere in the carriage house. I asked him to go find it so I could show you. He refused. So I said, okay, I'll just explain it. Carpet shampoo. I don't know. I don't know. Don't get upset. Don't get mad. Just go with the flow and I'll just show you some of the things we found. And, 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 and just, just just be kind just be kind okay all right we got six slightly crushed but large containers of comet which is a slightly abrasive cleaning product that works adequately for some jobs but if you have an enamel sink a white enamel kitchen sink for example 
you're gonna want your barkeeper's friend because Comet's just not gonna do it. But for scrubbing a toilet, yes, Comet's just perfect. We've got five VO5 men's three in one shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. Well, it's nice to think that if men use this as body wash, they're conditioning all their chest hair if they've got any. But again, how much do we love free cleaning products? A lot, right? We've got bread and bread byproducts. Some of it smushed and some of it's not. We've got more popcorn, flower rockets. There's a third one floating around somewhere. I was gonna call these Captain Lance's wafers, but that's wrong. Lance Captain's wafers, that's what they look like. A couple came out of another box. Cream, cheese, and chive sandwich crackers. Interesting. That seems like good emergency food to put in your glove box in the car, perhaps. I mean, I don't know about the cream cheese and the heat, but I have a sense that there's a lot of preservatives in there. All right, here we go with just a little sampling of some Mother's Day cards. We rescued Mother's Day cards out of the Dollar Tree dumpster about three different times. And the one you saw, Frugal Daddy pulled about three cases out. And these are the ones we saved so that the kids don't have to worry about ever going out and buying me a Mother's Day card. Of course, they could always make a card. I honestly couldn't care less about Mother's Day, to be perfectly honest, but here they go with cards to give to me. I just thought the little camper was really cute, even though that's a from your husband kind of a card, which is weird because I'm not his mother. But anyway, all the other cards we gave away to various organizations like a nursing home down the street for crafting. The one time I called them about it, they said, no, we don't want them. And then when I got more and more and more, I called them again and they said, okay, sure, bring them by. I think I just talked to two different people. I wish that's where I lived. So just pretend this is three big boxes worth of cards that they ditched. All right, guys, that was it. And thanks for watching. And now we all feel better that I can erase all of that off of my computer, which I simply couldn't do knowing you hadn't seen it yet. Now I feel like we're caught up. So onward and upward, dumpsterinos, onward and upward. And I, I said to, I said to frugal daddy, I said, frugal daddy, from now on, if you go to the dumpster and there's just like one thing in there and you're just yanking it off the top and you think, oh, I don't need to film that because that's not worth a video, film it, film it anyway. And we'll give a try with those YouTube shorts. You know, we'll do some little dumpster diving mini adventures. So that's something to look forward to, isn't it? I hope you all are doing well, dumpsterinos and frugalistas, and we will see you again so, so, so soon. And you know what's coming up next? Do you want to know? Do you want to know? I'll tell you whether you want to know or not. I went dumpster diving. Yes, I did. I went this morning. And so that video will be up next, maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day, probably tomorrow. Yeah, frugal mommy at the dumpster. Meh, meh, meh. Back in the saddle, as it were. Back in the stirrups. Which reminds me, I have not had a pap smear in a long time. Thanks for sharing, Frugal Mommy. So we'll see you again soon. I love you guys. Take care. Bye. Can you say thanks for watching? <laughs> that was awesome.